Hi everyone, Sahil from Quicknode here and today I'm here to talk about the new and trending base chain. In this video, we will cover what is base chain, what are layer 2 chains, what was the motivation behind base chain, how you can create your own Quicknode base chain endpoint and how you can interact with the base chain. So let's jump into it. Base is a new Ethereum layer 2 developed by Coinbase one of the leading cryptocurrency exchanges. Before understanding more about BASE, let's understand what is Ethereum Layer 2. Ethereum is the Layer 1 main chain, and then there are Layer 2s, which are separate chains, which extends some features of the main Ethereum chain. There is a blockchain trilemma, which states that security, scalability, and decentralization, all three cannot be achieved once by one blockchain. So Ethereum being very popular is cluttered a lot of times which prevents users to send transactions or then there are high gas fees. So layer two solves this by settling the transactions on their chain and then sending the transaction information in batches on the main Ethereum chain, thus achieving the security and decentralization of the main Ethereum chain. Now that we know what layer twos are, let's understand what is base chain. Base is a low cost developer friendly Ethereum layer two. Being a layer 2, it's scalable and being an Ethereum layer 2, it's decentralized and secure. It's also EVM compatible, which means all the applications which are developed and deployed on Ethereum can be deployed on base as well without no or slight changes in their smart contracts. Coinbase has this plan to bring a billion plus users on chain to use the decentralized applications. The phase one of this plan has protocols, protocols being Ethereum and Bitcoin, which gives developers a technology to develop applications. Phase two is exchanges and bridges, exchanges like Coinbase, which gives users and investors to on-ramp, off-ramp their money. Phase three is phase of interfaces, interfaces being wallets, wallets like Coinbase wallet, Rainbow Kit, Trust Wallet, Metamask, which gives applications and application developers an easy way for their users to interact with cryptocurrencies. Phase four is where with interfaces and protocols in place, there is a need to bring the pre-existing financial system on chain. This is currently being done by USDC and CBIT, but this won't help to unlock the full potential of phase four. So to do that, Coinbase team realized that we need to go to the first phase again to develop the core protocols. For that, they started working with Optimism team to develop scalable rollups. But they thought even that wasn't enough. So they developed Base Chain, an entirely new Ethereum layer 2 chain, which is open source. So it's available for everyone to use. With Base Chain and Coinbase's huge user network, Coinbase is aiming to bring a billion plus new users to chain. So now that we know what is base chain, let's understand or let's see how we can get our own base chain endpoint from Quicknode. To get your own Quicknode base endpoint, go to quicknode.com, create an account and verify your email. After that, you'll see a screen like this. Click on create an endpoint, then select base, then select Gourley base. Base is right now just available on Base Goerli testnet, but after the Optimism Bedrock upgrade, it will be available on mainnet as well. Click on continue. We won't need any of the add-ons right now. Click on continue again, and then make sure the discover free plan is selected. Because if you just want to try out the base chain or you just want to play around, this is the best plan you can get on because it's free. You don't even need a card or anything. Just create your endpoint with the free plan and you'll be good to go. You'll get your own private API key so that you can secure your endpoint. It's just for your use. So once it loads, you'll get HTTP as well as a WebSocket provider. So using these two endpoints, you can interact with the base chain. 
to interact with the base chain let's go to documentation and then select base in the documentation so for the purpose of this video we will do something very easy so let's do eth block number and once you select that you will get different different options to perform that call or rpc you can do curl you can do eth rb python web 3 pi ruby javascript ethers so to keep it simple and easy and fast i'll just do a curl example let's copy this and oh by the way your quick note endpoints gets occupied or gets filled in in the documentation automatically so frequent old sponge is our endpoint frequent old sponge so that's a like nice small feature so let's copy this go to our terminal paste it there run the command as you can see we have retrieved the latest block number from the base goerli testnet so this is how you can get your own base quick node endpoint and you can use that endpoint to interact with the base chain. So I hope this video was a bit helpful for you to understand base chain and to understand how you can get your own base endpoint. So if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more such videos and we'll see you next time.